What's a human? The spacer paused, then took a deep pull on his drink. You know monkeys? Sure, said the bartender. A fairly common evolutionary niche. They're omnivorous pack animals, right? Generally aggressive, opportunistic and smart. Well, a human is basically a monkey, but no tail and not much fur. Although they like wearing the skins of other animals. Sounds gross, said the bartender. Although wearing other animals' skins wasn't that unheard of for really primitive sapiens. Yeah, that and the carrion eating. Apparently they evolved from a weird breed of scavenger monkeys, and they've never lost their taste for rotten meat, although they call it cured or aged or whatever. They really like rotten animal meat. Wait, these guys have space flight? I know, right? You wouldn't believe what their taste of meat does to their ecosystem. Last time we checked in, we gave them a half century before a mass extinction event, just on the sheer numbers of meat animals they're breeding alone. That's not even starting on all the other shit. That doesn't sound like a smart set of priorities. The spacer took another slug of his drink. You know, they had dropped nuclear bombs on civilians before they even discovered transistors. Their rocket technology was developed because one of their factions was losing a war, and they wanted to kill enemy civilians out of pure spite. Sounds really messed up, said the bartender. Yeah, well, they probably won't be the next time we swim by. They getting their shit together? Asked the bartender, sounding surprised. Quite the opposite. Stats show that only 4% of societies that develop nuclear weapons before establishing a multi-planetary civilization survive the next century. So they're already living beyond their odds. Plus, they managed to wreck their ecosystem as badly as I've ever seen. Like mass extinctions? These monkeys breathe mass extinction. They were driving other animals into extinction before they'd invented the wheel. No, I mean, total ecosystem collapse. High odds of lowering the habitability rating of their planet, at least to the point where they can't support their current population. Low odds of lowering it so badly that it can't support large land animals. The spacer frowned into the dregs of his drink. You guys going to intervene? Well, the guys on the mission all wanted to, but we kicked it up the command chain, and they basically told us we don't have the budget. Better to let the monkeys eat each other and start over. Hush. That's the galaxy, said the spacer. Sucks to suck.